Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, January 26th. Um, I just got in from walking the pups and feeding them. Hmm, thank you. And um, I'm going to do a, just a real quick one here. I've got a, I was sent some tracks to a record bass on. I'm going to do that, and then I've got to download some stuff for my session tomorrow with uh, Steve Lukather. And I'm really looking forward to seeing Luke and, uh, and playing on some new stuff with him. So that's going to be great. So I'm doing a quick one. This may be another one that you're unfamiliar with, but worth looking up. Uh, let me, uh, excuse, excuse moi. I got to figure out how to turn off the notifications. Um, ding on this damn computer. Drives me nuts because I, I don't need to be notified. I'm already looking. Um, okay, this is a duo uh, called Nicole, uh, Nicole and Marsh, and it was a self-titled album, Nicole and Marsh, that we did back in 1978. Uh, the group is comprised of Ken Nicole and Peter Marsh. Uh, now, it was produced by uh, Randy Bishop, who uh, I did an album, I featured an album that I did with he and his partner, Marty Gwynn. Uh, Some time back, it was Bishop and Gwynn. And so he produced this, Larry Brown and Tim Sadler I engineered it. Uh, Larry Brown was the engineer that I did um, Billy Thorpe's Children of the Sun with. And this was mixed by Larry Brown and mastered by the great Bernie Grundman. Um, it was really hard to find any tracks on YouTube. I found one from the album. Um, so I'm going to just play the one song for you just to give you a taste. Uh, this is called Back Out of Love Again, and it's myself and Ken Nicole on guitar, uh, Ken Nicole and Tony Berg on acoustic guitar, Tom Hensley from Neil Diamond's band for many years on Fender Rhodes piano, and Billy Payne from Little Feet on synth, and the background vocals are Nicole and Marsh. And uh, So here we go. This is uh, Back Out of Love Again from 1978, Nicole and Marsh. <laughs>
back out of love beautiful ballad you know great vocals on it uh and it's always interesting you know when you get to do a track where there's no drums or percussion or anything on it no click or anything and you just uh you just get into the headspace of it and i really enjoyed that so that's a real real quickie today um i'm going to get to work now on these um tracks that i have to do and take care of that and then um, go over some stuff for tomorrow and then I'm going to call the insurance company and find out what the hell the status is. Because I would like to get my truck fixed at some point. I've sent them pictures. I sent them an estimate and uh, still waiting for them to get back. But, you know, the main thing is, is the fact that somebody ran into me and I want their insurance to take care of the business. Not my insurance company going out of pocket for me when somebody was completely negligent and crashed into me. So, you know, the fun will continue there. And um, then I got a couple more things to uh, call. Uh, they've contacted me and they would like to have um, my book available in the Grammy Museum gift shop. So um, I've got to set up some time next week to take a bunch of books down there uh, to them and fill out the paperwork and all that stuff. But it'll be fun to have it, uh, have it there for people to be perusing the gift shop and suddenly go, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's pretty out. So we'll see what's going on with that. And uh, other than that, I'm just going to wish everybody a great uh, middle of the week. Um, as I do every day, you know, it sounds monotonous, but until the reality of this is over, I, uh, I feel it's imperative to maintain vigilance throughout this period. So I am again thanking all of the people that are working still kind of frontline, which is primarily at this point medical people in, in the hospital situations and doctors, nurses, um, janitorial, secretarial, everybody that's working in hospitals is really uh, putting themselves in harm's way throughout all of this stuff. So I thank you all so much for for your work. And, uh, you know, once again, it's ain't not going to really, uh, you're not going to be safe till you have a vaccination, <laughs> period. That's It's as simple as that. It's for you to figure out. Um, other than that, I'm going to find some more music for tomorrow, and I'll get something done before I head over to... Uh, Joe Williams' house to uh, work with Joe and uh, and Luke and and I think Trevor is like co-producing this one. Luke's son, I th think. That, yeah, I hope he's there. I haven't seen Trev in a while. It'd be great to see him. So take good care, and uh, I will talk to you later. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>